Over 7,000 athletes from around the world will fill our city of Toronto for this year's Pan Am Games in July to officially reveal the Pan Am Torch. Welcome, former Olympian Sophie Bala. Congratulations and welcome. Can I just please start by saying you are such a hero because you are now a proud police officer. Shout out to 11 Division. And you just came off the night shift. That's true. You don't need no stinking sleep. Nah. You're an Olympic champ. Look at you over here. This was always a dream of yours following the Olympics. You said you wanted to be yep. an officer. How come? I don't know. It was just the one thing that I always wanted to do growing up. And it's the one thing that I could see myself really do. And do you After like swimming. it? I love it. I go to work every day and it's just like a dream come true and I gotta pinch myself once in a while. Really? Thank you for keeping our streets safe. I said your family must be worrying about you. Do they worry more about your Olympic days or now <laughs> you serve in the streets every day? I get the occasional phone call from my mom. How are you? Yeah. She's a little more attached now than she was before. But Is she watching now? I didn't really tell her. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, she can watch it I'll online. probably get in trouble for that. Morning to the family. Let's feast our eyes on this. We finally, I'm not allowed to touch it, but you're allowed to touch yes, it. Yes, I am. Because you are a torchbearer. So yes. let's talk about this beautiful torch. Finally, we get a glimpse at it. And congratulations. It must feel so amazing to take part in what will be a great relay, right? Yes, I'm very excited. Um, I've been to two Pan Am Games before, so, but I've never actually got to hold a torch. Um, so being able to hold it and for the Pan Am Games in Toronto is a huge honor. What's it feel like? <laughs> is it heavy? No, it's, it's kind of like a baseball bat to be honest. It's not, I, I would have thought it would be heavier and I was worried about my run, like yeah. the extra weight and I'm not exactly a runner. So. Oh, I think you're going to be okay. I mean, let's discuss your endurance. You Yeah, but swimmers land. You participated in the Marathon 10K Olympic swim, so that takes about... Two hours. Oh, yeah, you're fine. And you have to run with this for how long? Uh, 10 minutes? I don't know. I, I want to say 10 to 12 minutes, because I heard that's as long as the flame lasts. I guess so. it depends how fast you run. I mean, that's something I'm going to have to practice. You're going to be okay. I think you'll like, probably make do like it Make like a too. fancy TV run. <laughs> so as we prepare and as you prepare, are you going to start up jogging? Do you usually have running as part of your regimen or we try it's not exactly attractive swimmers run and that's the thing i've been thinking that how am i going to run if i'm jogging too slow then obviously it's going to take me longer and the torch like it runs out no, so i don't you'll be fine. if it goes out it's super bad luck this is it won't happen this is and the then if i run too fast my face will get all red and i'm going to be out of breath <laughs> it's hilarious is this what you were like during competition? Take us into the mindset about, you know, wh what the athletes are going through right now because we're just a couple of months away, really. It's a few months away. Is it major training for them right now? It is, and some of the athletes haven't even qualified yet. So it's leading up. I mean, we have the swimmers. No, no swimmer has qualified yet. Um, the pool events are just start of April. Yeah. I don't qualify till May. Wow. And there's athletes that don't qualify till June, till so the last what, minute. What advice would you give to those who are up and training and watching right now? What advice do you give them? Because there's some days you just you think, I don't know if I have it in me, right? Oh, I have those days. But just keep going. Do what you uh, what you want to do and follow your dreams. And at the end, it will be worth it for sure. So what's it going to feel like for you when you actually get to carry this torch? Oh, it's going to feel amazing. And I'm just going to hope I'm not tripping. You're way too concerned about this. If it were me, there'd be it's a problem. It's a lot of pressure. You, I know. Is it? Yeah. You feel that? Yeah. You got this. Don't you worry. And you guys could actually check this out. It will be on display throughout the entire week before it makes its a nationwide tour. So it'll be at the CN Tower. Make sure you see the Pan Am Games in July, the Parrot Pan Am Games in August. And uh, check it out, CN Tower, until Friday. Great for March break. Breakfasttelevision.ca. How cool. And congratulations. And I know you will continue to do us proud in every way. Thank you Thank for you. making time today. Right now, we're at Jen at Live Eye. Hey, Jen.